D-Max in the hospital. Walter then got his goofy ass kids to get on this brigade to go and try to take down Tommy. One of them is going to lose their life behind it. And the Serbians is just like, you know what? Bygones been bygones. You pay for this army. Who we killing, Tommy? What's good, y'all? She goes, this is Erica Vane coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another Power Book for Force video. In this video, we are talking about the trailer for episode 10 from season one. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my Power Book for Force videos. As we approach the season finale, also go back in time and I'm rewatching Power Book to Ghost and I have breakdowns for season one and two on the channel. So if you are going back to rewatch and make sure that you check out my videos. If you're new here, you know it's a good it's a good time i'm also breaking down all of the other hottest television shows on television and streaming we're talking grownish we're talking all american we're talking about all american homecoming snowfall this is literally just to name a few of course i'm breaking down power the original we're going back and rewatching it and then of course power book two ghosts and power book three raising canaan you name it i got it so make sure that you check it out after you finish watching this video we have so much amazing content just go to youtube.com just erica van TV and then click the videos tab and it will show you all we got we giving you all we got but back to this breakdown okay so in the trailer it opens up with JP telling Tommy find out who did this to my son d -Matt is laying in this bed looks like he's unconscious but look like he gonna make it he he all right they got that bullet up out of there and he gonna actually make it he just hasn't come to yet so hopefully we ain't gonna lose d -Matt. we still got so much more story to tell between jp being reunited with his long lost son that's been shooting up his club tommy put two and two together and we need some dialogue so d -Matt, if you don't hold out for nothing else hold out for this conversation that needs to be had sir we need it i'm sorry don't die yet from there we're taking back to tommy's current life situation which is prepping for walter flynn and the four horsemen to make their you know play at him but actually before i even go here so who has actually been the one who put out the hit on d -Matt or who was you know in that car shooting at them it was Jannard. so tommy already don't like Jannard's goofy behind so that's one person he's gonna have to you know put on his list to take out but he got to deal with walter flynn and these four horsemen that are coming for him and the serbs tommy already purchased his serbian army i'm hoping that they're not gonna be disloyal because he paid 1.5 million dollars for this play and we're gonna need it to actually go off without a hitch so from the hospital we get to see tommy meeting with Merkovich. he's talking about we can get you anything that you need he like look i'm just a general y'all the army i just need this thing taken care of so hopefully we don't see tommy actually too much in the gunfire i mean we have multiple seasons to come of this series so tommy can't die but y'all he could definitely be wounded and whatnot and placed in the hospital and that's not something that we want for our good bro tommy okay from there, we get significant time with these damn Flynn's and their goofiness. Walter's talking about Egan is gonna be dead. Claudia's talking about, I know how to make things happen. Girl, stop trying to make Fetch happen. You've been trying to prove that you bought that life, that you with the sh that you was about that action this entire season and your entire life. And the worst thing that you can do is open up your big old brown eyes and stare very intensely at somebody, sis. You killed a few people, but you didn't do that junk on purpose for real, for real. You really not a killer out here in these streets. You really just want to be seen and you want a little bit of clout and you're dangerous to everyone, including yourself. And not in a way that's actually going to be able to weaponize that danger element and be able to elicit attacks on people. You're dangerous because you're goofy. You're dangerous dangerous because you're dumb you're dangerous because you're a liability baby so please please claudia for the love of god stop hollering about how much of a criminal mastermind you could be how dangerous you think you are how capable of criminality you are because baby girl at the end of the day you're nothing but a liability baby I don't make the rules. Now the person who's in the next clip after Claudia make a little stupid statement. That girl is dangerous. That girl is fully capable of criminality. You see the way she lifted this gun up ready to shoot. Got the little chemist behind her like I'm gonna lay out whoever's coming through this door. Liliana and I'm hoping that it's Liliana that puts a bullet in Claudia's ass this season finale. Period child and from there the, the trailer takes a little interesting turn because mr zen daddy himself diamond is walking with a bat and got somebody strung up in the back and we get a cut to adrian talking about who is this person that you said that you ain't trust anymore now y'all i don't think that this is Jannard that he got tied up but i do think it's his little funky homie from new orleans and i can't remember his name i'm not gonna make the effort to remember his name because he's a non-factor like Jannard, okay but i think that it's him and i think that all the hell is gonna be beat out of him and i think that i can't wait to see it because i've been 
been waiting for Diamond to get in his violent bag and show these people why they need to stop disrespecting him. Show these people to stop taking his kindness for a weakness. Show these people to stop taking that he's wise and calculated and strategic and thinking that means that you can game him because it's the complete and utter opposite, baby. And unfortunately, sorry to whoever's mama is on the other side of this gun, but after he beats the hell out of them with this bat, he's going to put a bullet in their head. We'll send your mom flowers. And honestly, y'all, the trailer ends with exactly why Vic is going to lose. It is a running theme for this Flynn family. It's a running theme for Claudia. Vic says the last face that Tommy sees needs to be mine for Gloria. One, you know deep down in your heart that Tommy didn't actually do this. Second, you and Claudia being so obsessed with people knowing that it was you, with having a certain amount of clout, with having a certain amount of notoriety. If you want the person dead, you need, you need the person dead all these extra strings that you putting on top because you want to be able to look him in his eyes and do this and do that that's the stuff that gets you killed insisting on the fact that you need to be front and center claudia of a new burgeoning drug empire when you're already a notable face and you're out and about with politicians is stupid insisting that you are the person that looks tommy in the face before he catches his bullet because that's what you want to have happen knowing that you couldn't take tommy in a one-on-one -on -one fist fight is stupid Y'all's deep desire for clout, notoriety, and for people to talk about you like you to sh versus actually being a sh is literally y'all's Achilles heel. And it's the reason why the Flynn family will never really find success. Y'all daddy might be an OG, even though he races AF. He might be an OG, he might be fully capable, fully gritty, definitely dangerous, but that shit did not pass on to the, to the offspring. And guess what? The Flynn legacy dies with Walter Flynn because these two kids are completely incapable and I'm over it. And then the trailer ends off with Tommy, you know, on the phone with Vic talking about you ready for a war, kid? And Vic replies, yeah, it's on. It's a war. The worst words you will have ever said. It's literally the stupidity for me, y'all. <laughs> like, none of this math is math. But if you really want to die this way, Flynn family, do your thing. Now, yes, is Vic able to carry a gun? Yes, we get to see little clips towards the end where a bunch of shootouts, they come to shoot up the lab. We see Walter hollering Tommy. We see Tommy pointing the gun back. We gonna have some bullets flying and that's cool and all, but who will reign supreme by the end? Mr. Tommy Egan. I said what I said, but I wanna know what y'all think. What's y'all predictions for episode 10? What do you think is to come? Who do you think is going to die? Who has earned their death? Let me know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe and follow Erica Vane TV so that you don't miss out on any of my Power Book 4 Force videos, but also all of my dope breakdowns of all of the hottest television series and films that we are seeing, okay? If it's hot, bomb storytelling, amazing cast i am talking about it come and join me there are over a thousand videos on my channel y'all get into it and i'll see you in the next one